Simon from SimonWater.com. I have a wine here that's called Amicone uh, from uh, North East Italy. No, no, it's not trying to be Amarone. No, of course it's not. It's called Amicone. It doesn't sound anything like Amarone, nor is it bottled in anything like an Amarone bottle. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, uh, it's got a little leaflet round uh, round the uh, round its neck. A uh, little gem, so carefully selected. Blah blah blah. Healthiest and most developed grapes. Uh, some of them go, undergo a little drying procedure. Sounds very much like Amarone to me. Slow maturation, oak barrels, um, grilled meats. Blah. Oh, this wine evokes unexpected emotions. So, I'm going to pour myself some and see if uh, whether I go strangely frisky or. Um, or yes, I, I, I get contemplative, or uh, let's see what it, sort of emotions it excites. It's got that soft, warm, woody, cherry character. A uh, little bit of uh, the cherries, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, that kirsch liqueur type of uh, type of, uh, uh, of uh, aroma. Uh, it smells like there's going to be an expansive. Uh, yeah, it feels like it's going to be a full-bodied, hearty wine, um, weighing in at fourteen and a half alcohol. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure whether there's going to be a touch of sweetness there, but it feels like because of those dried grapes, uh, there is extra oomph there, uh, whether they have uh, decided to do that and uh, make it as a dry wine or as a off dry with a, just a little touch of sugar to round out some of those fleshy flavours, be interesting to see. But there is, um, alongside this, um, this fruit, there's something, um, yeah, almost almondy, nutty, perfumed, and um, it does a... Uh, Quite a credible um, uh, approximation to um, to the wine that it's trying to ape. Um, certainly, on the smell, at least. Better taste it though, haven't I? I'd say there was a touch of sweetness there, but it's rich, rounded. Um, it's not um, amazingly complex, but it's this warm, hearty, earthy flavour. I mean, I'm tasting this at the end of May. Um, it's almost a, a wine I would want to have tasted at the end of November. So, uh, six months from now, or six months ago, it's got that. Uh, um, yeah, slightly warm-hearted um, richness and um, depth of fruit. Touch of tannin in there, and um, uh, so I mean, ten pounds. Um, yeah, really can't fault that for for ten pounds. It's not. It's not. There, there are some great Amarones out there, but the great ones cost um, twenty, thirty, forty pounds and more. Um, as a substitute, um, I think it does a reasonable impersonation and um, but I'd, I'd almost rather see it as, uh, as sold not trying to ape it so much and just being confident in being um, a really good interesting um, and uh, at 10 pounds pretty good value wine see you soon